Do you still remember when we would go gathering in the forest and camping too? Each time we went a little deeper into those woods. And then once, rather faithfully, I went myself. Those were the days. Those were great days. We even went once more after that. One time, I headed into the hill alone. Hmm. Picture your nephew. Picture. Your. Get that tent out, lad. Out, I tell you. <laughs>
a lot about the days we even had a fire to we were like forest folk we really were oh but that wind was wild it didn't ever ease so much after then I tell you the story as a warning you were young back then you won't remember at all <laughs> if any year hmm. the fractured forest in the valley at least was filled with mist as we headed back down it had dark places I can tell you <laughs> even more so now it's all dark in there now even with the white of snow Birds cheap away, the trees sway, but the goodness is gone somewhat. Though the birds sing sweet, their voices have an emptiness like a river, full of water yet, no fish swimming. Those are a bit scary and gone. Much has changed since then, lad. They really are scary now. Really. I daren't wander alone in there, and you, lad, shan't either. A darkness lurks on horseback, it said. <laughs> they blend with the forest, one minute bright like summer, the next, <laughs> as black as the heart of winter, upon the animals of the woods. During the coldest spell high up in the mountains, where a few wander, hmm, or a few dwell, or want to. Those woods have a spirit now. It knows what it knows, and it knows it well. In that neck of the woods, the crows stare up there, up there, everything to them is food, or will be, if you don't leave. 